Now we try to draw a circle or a sphere like this. Try to draw this using all five of those values. So first you're gonna draw a circle. And then the first thing you wanna do is outline your shadow that comes from it. So we kind of have two, but let's just do this one right here. And that's actually not our darkest dark. It might even be our medium tone, but if I blur my eyes, it's just in between these two. So I'm just going to add those values really quick. And there's something I wanna talk about really quick right now, and it's the difference between direct light and reflected light. So direct light is like light that would come from the sun or from a light in your house, a lamp, and reflected light would be light that bounces off of something back into it. So there's light on the table right now that's coming from my window, but it's bouncing up right onto this sphere right here. So that's reflected light. I like to just draw a crescent right here. Now look at that sphere and tell me where the darkest shadow is. If you look at it, can you see how the darkest shadow might be somewhere in there? Just like they did on this. It's nice to kind of outline some of your shadows. So I'm just gonna put this one in right here. And I'm gonna show you something that one of my professors would not let me use, but I'm still gonna show it to you because I think it's helpful and it's a really quick way to shade. If you can't see your outline anymore, you might just wanna drop it back in. Here comes the trick. Grab a tissue or toilet paper, or if you have fancy blender stumps. I just wanna make sure I've got these shadows where I want them to be. And then you can take this, you can either use your blender stump, toilet paper, tissue, roll it up, you blend it together. This may not come all the way around. I'm gonna come down into this shadow, and I might add the shadow that I see right there and the shadow that I see right there. After you do that, you want to come back in and carefully redraw your lines because most likely they got kind of erased. And then I'm going to keep adding darker areas to this part because at least from what I see, they look a lot darker than I have them on here. Seems like this might need to be a little bit darker. Now I can see it reflected light that it kind of got smudged out in here. So I'm just gonna use my eraser and I'm gonna erase out some of that reflected light. And after I erase it, I'm just gonna try to blend next to it again. Um, you can look at yours and you can, like the shadow I think needs to come up a little bit more onto my sphere. You always have to remember that your lines can get just smudged out. So there's a really quick introduction into drawing using values for beginners. I know you can do this. I'm gonna show you some examples from my students, but they did these today. Some of these students are four, some of them are 12. So their ages range. I hope you enjoyed this introduction into value. Now what I would do is try to set something up like something that's white, like an egg, and try to draw it using these values. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Have a great day. We'll see you around on YouTube.